very beginning of designing a product, we start to gear up. I shop as much as humanly possible. I think travel has been a really good uh, opportunity to see what's going on in the world. When you look through certain magazines, there's a huge trend. We love glitz, we love glamour. I like to buy fabric, cut it up, drape it on the doll. I'll take like little thumbnail sketches that I've done. A little purse or a little stuffed animal, something cute. Grabbing things, tearing things out. In my office, you'll see like I got my sketch pad and I got this pile of fabric and I got all these tear sheets from magazines. I just start working feverishly. Start designing, start building a prototype, start building clothes. And then I sit with my pattern maker and we really like get into like, okay, this is what I want to do. And then I'll come back, look at it and say, yeah, you know, if you can take it in, you know, an eighth of an inch, you know, where this is Barbie, so all the measurements are really, you know, they work good. Everything is all happening once, from hair to makeup. You start from the preliminary stage of telling them what you want, that I can pull out a tear sheet from a magazine because Beyonce is wearing the most fantastic eyeshadow I had ever seen. You kind of express what exactly it is you're looking for. Sophisticated, or I need it really trendy, or I need it really innocent. I stick to a lot of hair publications. The girls pull out their color books. It needs to be fun and playful. And then there's a lot of just refining and refining and refining. It is a lot like designing for a real woman. There has to be a, an element of reality in it, but she is an icon. She is a, a, a fashion diva.